an away win that was for County. Let's dissect that game between Gillingham and Newport County at Priestfield and let you know my thoughts and reaction from the game in what was a big away win on the final away game of the season. <laughs> two at full time I will run through um, the notes that I made for pre-match during the first half second half and stuff like that and totally analyze the game so going into the game Newport County were sat in 14th place Gillingham sat in or sitting in 15th place going into the game so one place separated the two teams prior to kickoff so we always knew it was going to be a tight affair knew it was going to be one that you know, both teams got nothing to play for. They're both safe, um, but just end the season on a high. So, yeah, looking at that, I was like, yeah, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, then the lineups came out at 2 o'clock. Townsend in goals instead of Joe Day. Baker, Faxon, and Demetrio as the back uh, three in there. Norman, Waite, Mariah Welsh, Evans, and Lewis as the sort of five in front of them. Uh, no Scott Bennett uh, in the team. Um, and no Harry Chasley from the start. McNeil and Bogle change from the front two that played against Harrogate. Obviously, Callum Kavanagh started alongside Bogle. Looking at the team, I was I was happy. Obviously, Joe Day had a very bad game against Harrogate, um, and we was all calling for Nick Townsend to start, and that's exactly what did happen. Townsend did get the nod. We started off really brightly with a few really good chances. Mickey Dimitro had a chance from a a set piece as well, and it looked really bright. I don't think Gillingham offered much in the first 10 minutes, and we did get the breakthrough nine minutes into the game. A lovely corner from James Waite. A lot of people have, you know, criticised James Waite recently, myself included, saying that he hasn't got too much of an end product. He puts in a lovely ball. Back post there is Cameron Norman, who is turning into a bit of a prolific goal scorer at the back post. Uh, heads that one in. And as soon as we scored, I was like, yeah, that's, that's it. Go push on. Let's get a second. But Gillingham grew properly into the game. They started to create a lot more chances. And it, in the 16th minute, it was a ball played into the box. Charlie McNeil fouled the Gillingham man inside the box. Referee gave a penalty. Don't think there's any arguments for me. I think it's always a penalty. And Tom Nichols, Gillingham's main marksman, put the Jills level after 17. And I thought, again, from the moment that they scored, just like the moment that we scored, they developed a real, you know, growing us into the game. And they started to grow into the game a lot more, which is what I felt happened when we scored our goal. You know, that it just gave them a second wind uh, and really pushed them on until half time. And, and yeah, like, like I said, uh, the first half, I thought we played some nice football at times. I thought in the first 20 minutes, I thought it was pretty scrappy from both. I didn't think that they offered much in terms of the goal. I don't think really we offered much from obviously the first 20 minutes. Um, but like I said, it was a scrappy end to the first half, like I mentioned. Um, and, and I literally wrote in my notes, we need to come out better second half and dominate the midfield, which is what I thought we did in the second half. Uh, second half then, um, I think they came out the better side. I think not many people would uh, disagree with that. They came out the better side and sort of really... Um, not not sort of dominated us, but they were pushing us, they were pressing us, um, and I think we found it quite hard uh, when that happened. Um, and it, it was just about get hold of the midfield, dominate the midfield, and we'll win the game. And that's exactly what happened ultimately and at the end of it. Um, obviously, there was a worrying news, uh, Priestley facts, and I think it was like the 58th minute came off um, with an injury. Harry Chasley uh, came on, and at the moment Chasley came on, um, I, I wrote this down in my notes again. The moment he came on, it looked like we were trying to stretch Dillingham. We were trying to use the wing backs and also the, the forwards as well to stretch them right across the um, the six yard area or right across the 12 yard area, sorry, in, in that sort of dynamiter of the pitch. And, and I thought we'd done that to um, quite effect as well. And then 
It happened, 11 minutes from time, a lovely ball into Omar Bogle and at the moment he is the man of the moment, he scored yet another goal for us Omar Bogle, lovely finish as well, right in front of the Newport away end and I think it's just a great finish, it falls to him inside the box, I think Bogle of 3-4 months ago skies that or puts it wide and he absolutely buries it right past uh, Glenn Morris in the Gillingham goal. Um, and yet, the, as soon as they scored again, as soon as we scored again, sorry, they then constantly, the, the flow of attacks, the second win came again. And again, we managed to, you know, contain those constant counter-attacks of Gillingham. Um, in terms of the game, though, I think it's a good result. I think it's a good performance. Not the, the best of performances, but I think Gillingham didn't offer too much in attack. I thought uh, McDonald was very good for them, their number seven. I think he got man of the match for them as well. Um, but overall, like I said, it's a good a good away win. You know, it's one that we needed to get. And I think that now that we have got that away win, we'll take into um, next Monday's game against Crew Alexandra, which will be the final game of the season, just to end the season on a high. We're going to finish above Gillingham, um, which is quite good because they had an unbelievable 2023. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section down below. Please make sure to like, share and subscribe. Final match day vlog of the season will be next Monday against Crew Alexandra. Half past 12 kickoff. I'll see you there up the county. This is Charlie McNeil. Subscribe to Mike Green YouTube channel.